Hey, Lon. Hi, Stephen. Why don't you pull yourself up a uh, chair, a lawn chair, Lon. <laughs> <laughs> a lawn chair. I get it. Hey, if you think that one was good, what do they call the famous Irishman who spends all summer hanging around the pool? Let's see. It's got to be Patty. I don't know. <laughs> Patty O Furniture. <laughs> Patty O Furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay, Lon, the reason I wanted you to come here is uh, I need an update on Dealer Week. I see everybody scurrying around. Are we in good shape and are we keeping the grand tradition alive? Oh, I think so. It seems impossible that we can get everything together by tomorrow, but you didn't tell me this was so much work. How, How true. true. Why, Why do you think, think I hired you? you? Because, because I, I needed, needed some Bronx busted? It's hard work putting on a party for 500 people. But I think everybody's coming through in spades. Oh, spare me the cliches and generalities, Lon. You know, I'm tough-minded and detailed-oriented. I want specifics, but before we get into that, what do you hear from the field? Oh, there are lots of questions. Uh, we're still the darling of the rumor mill. Just make sure they spell our names right. I hope you and the reps are letting everyone know that we're back in full production with a balanced inventory. Our refinancing's complete. We're paying our bills. It's business as usual. Oh, that's great. And dealers want to know if they should expect special deals like they saw last season. I can't predict the future, but those activities were caused by one-time circumstances that aren't likely to be repeated. Yeah, well, they resulted in some great deals for dealers. True. We thought if the dealers were going to help us out that we should make them benefit, but uh, the only program change I know about is that we've extended the deadline for Phase two advanced booking orders until August 1st to give dealers a later opportunity to replenish their stocks. Well, I like that. Shipping deadline still September 1st? That's right, except for dealers in the South and West who get a month's extension. Same terms, 90 days? That's right, plus the usual cash anticipation discounts. What else are you hearing in the field, Lon? Oh, a mixed bag. Lots of questions about CDW and the Charter Dealer Program. And there are still dealers out there that don't know how to sell that product. Isn't that one of the main focuses of Dealer Week? That's right. In addition to the usual tours of the foundry and the enameling plant, the assembly area at Bethel, we've got Team Fireside putting on basic product knowledge and training sessions about the features and benefits of CDW. When that first mailing hit, a lot of dealers weren't prepared for the traffic that came through the door. They had customers coming in who knew more about the product than they did. So we'll be putting a lot of emphasis on basic salesmanship of the CDW product line. That sounds good. What else will be going on? Well, we've got Winter Warm. You know, this is a product that's really been a sleeping giant, but it's beginning to stir. There are lots of dealers who are starting to have real successes with the product. But it really hasn't come easily. The debugging is now complete. But then again, there's a learning curve to go through. You've got a whole program to address that, don't you? Right. We announced a program at WHA. We've got a package of special display discounts, technical literature, sales aids, really a full package. Well, the deadline's coming up on that display offer. Right. The deadline is June 30th, and dealers won't see another opportunity like this soon. Well, you're pretty enthusiastic about the winter war. I really am. In fact, I'll bet that in a year or so, it's our best seller. Huh. You care to back up that statement? Yeah, I will. In fact, I'll bet that by Dealer Week 1991, it is our biggest seller, or I will publicly reveal how to do my famous bottle trick. <laughs> oh, pardon the interruption, but uh, this bottle trick, it needs a little bit of an explanation. You see, Lon, the traveling salesman that he is, picked up this little potty trick where he takes the cork from a wine bottle and puts it inside the empty bottle. Then he challenges you to try and get it out. He thinks it's real cute and it's tough. Trust me, it's easy. I did it the first time, but humor the guy. Go along with him. Make off it's tough. Come on out, you little sucker. I hope you're right. It sounds like a full agenda. Well, it really is. We have 35 training sessions in the morning, more than any one person can take in. But it gives enough to ensure that there's something for everyone. Now, the afternoons, though, they're your baby, Stephen. Hey, don't worry about it. I've got it covered. I know you're a smooth-faced rookie, but take it from a grizzled veteran. We've got lots to say. Well, it would help me to know what you're going to say. Well, on Monday, we're going to focus on the dual brand strategy, a subject that's concerned us since we acquired CDW last spring. You know, that's still a controversial subject. Mm-hmm. It was controversial when the brands were distributed separately, and it's controversial now that we've integrated our distribution. Well, we've done some research on the topic, haven't we? We've done lots of research every step along the way. You remember when we did the Charter Dealer Regional meetings, we presented research that showed very distinct differences between 
the CDW and the Vermont Castings customers. Well, dealers have mixed feelings about the success of that initial mailing. Well, don't think I didn't uh, hear some of the comments. Too late in the season, offer not strong enough, people came through the door before my display was set up. But you know what? The evidence is that it worked. You and I, snake oil salesmen that we are, created some hefty expectations, which uh, could have been interpreted subjectively. But sell-through figures tell a very different story. Dealers might have expected more, but by combining both brands in the best dealer shops, we were able to increase total dealer business. So the dealers began to get a slice of that $5.6 million pie that you talked about in your last video. Exactly. Of course, we all want a bigger piece of pie a little sooner, but... Let me guess, that's what the Tuesday session is going to be about. You're learning fast, partner. When we acquired CDW, we bought more than a product line. We acquired a consumership that CDW spent tens of millions of dollars to create. Our plan for 89, and it's been our plan since day one, is to drive this consumership into the dealership shop and expose them to a broad expanse of product and then give the consumer a reason to buy. You're talking about the catalog business. That's right. This is the culmination of our dual brand strategy. We've created a promotional piece that will pre-sell the consumer better than any piece of promotional literature ever created in this industry. We all know how well the CDW catalog worked, and this piece is going to be bigger, more informative, more colorful. In fact, it's going to be twice the size of the CDW catalog. We call it the Fireside Advisor, and it's being created by the same folks who did the award-winning CDW catalog. It'll tell the aesthetic story, the technical story, It'll have uh, Vermont Castings models, as well as CDW, Woodstock, decorative accessories, installation items. Everything's going to be there. Stephen, I hope you understand that catalog and direct marketing are dirty words in many dealer shops. That's true, but we know how well it worked for CDW. And what has always been a problem is figuring out how to do it in such a way that it doesn't step on dealers' toes. That's why we've tested out this idea so thoroughly, like when we were at the WHA. We presented the program to more than 100 dealers from all regions of the country. Now we've incorporated their suggestions into a program that's given us the best of both worlds. The dealer has maximum flexibility. The consumer has maximum convenience. Now you got this old peddler interested, but how do you answer the dealer complaints of pricing and product accessibility? By listening, Lon. Most dealers have similar concerns, and they came up with the solutions to the problems. Dealers are concerned that they may not carry all of the products depicted in the catalog or that the brand of pipe they represent is not the same as the one shown. Well, that's okay. Although we encourage dealers to display and sell the products shown in the Fireside Advisor, it's by no means a requirement. Moreover, all products shown in the book are accessible to the dealers. If someone wants it, they can get it and make money doing it. Pricing is an area of concern to all dealers, and we're doing everything possible to ensure that pricing decisions are left where they rightly belong in the hands of the local retailer. There will be two versions of the Fireside Advisor. The one distributed in dealer shops contains no pricing, no order, and no listing of competitive dealers. The Fireside Advisor distributed through the mails has both an order form and a complete listing of charter dealers. We show two prices, one for pickup in our Randolph showroom, the other for locally delivered product. This latter price includes a worst case shipping cost to minimize differences between the catalog price and the locally available one. You can still expect competitive price shopping, but every precaution has been taken to ensure that maximum pricing flexibility is given to the dealer, and we thank the many dealers who gave us their thoughts on this subject. The Fireside Advisor touts the virtues of buying locally loud and clear in the editorial content. In fact, the story is told by one of our dealers himself, Mike Duval of Sutter Home and Hearth in Seattle. Mike has spent the last decade as a wood stove retailer, and he tells the story well. We're circulating the Fireside Advisor as aggressively as we can by mail, by phone, and most importantly, at the dealer's shop. This will be our fulfillment piece for all inquiries received for the balance of 1989. Our goal is the same as the dealer's, to get this hard-working piece of selling material into the consumer's hands, and then to get them to buy. And we think this is best done by getting them into the dealer's shop. That's why all copies of the Fireside Advisor that we mail will contain a complete listing of charter dealers. If ever the benefits of charter dealership have been clear, it's now. How widely the Fireside Advisor is circulated in the dealer's area is up to him. We have a mailing program, an ad mat for local use, a newspaper insert program, and an in-shop merchandising program. The tools to create a promotional campaign are there, but it's up to the dealer to use them, especially the combined mailing list of Vermont Castings and Consolidated Dutch West. Here's how the mailing program works. We've prepared what we call a qualifier mailing 
to be mailed in August. Any dealer can mail to any territory he chooses. With no restrictions? Only common sense. The qualifier mailing contains the following elements. A brochure, a cover letter, and also a coupon. What's the coupon deal? Well, the coupon is redeemable for $50 off any stove or fireplace or $10 off an accessory purchase with a minimum order of $50. I assume the coupons are only redeemable direct? No. The uh, purchases at a dealer shop qualify as well. Does dealer cover the cost? No, we share. We'll reimburse the dealer for 60% of the coupon value upon submission of the coupon and an invoice. This device gives the consumer a reason to act quickly, but also gives us a way to measure the success of this plan. Is there anything more? One more very important element. There's a response card that's custom printed with the dealer's name. Now this reinforces the mailing that we sent out last winter. There's one card, one dealer, unless there's more than one dealer in a zip zone. We've never before been able to offer custom mailings like this. The card promises the consumer a free fireside advisor with a retail value of $4 that he can pick up at the dealer's store or get directly from us. So the dealer has to pay for hundreds of $4 books that he distributes free of charge? Lon, you're as suspicious as a dealer. A dealer buys an initial supply of fireside advisors, but for every coupon he sends us, we send a free advisor. So Vermont Castings pays for the books. We split the coupon incentive with the dealer and the dealer pays for the customized qualifier mailing. Well, not quite. He only pays for half the cost. The qualifier mailing is eligible for co-op, meaning that we'll cover 50% of it. You know, Stephen, I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth, but even 50% of a great deal is more than some dealers can afford right now. I know that, too. Don't forget, I've been around a few more years than you. Payment for the mailing's not due until October 15th, when the dealer's cash flow is better. OK, one question. The dealers are all going to ask, what's the bottom line? What's it going to cost them? Well, the answer is that for charter dealers, being included in the Fireside Advisor doesn't cost anything. Sounds like you've done your homework. That's right. As usual, I've done the hard work and left you, the sales reps, and the account managers to pick up the glory. We've even prepared a recommended buy sheet for each charter dealer. The sheet shows how many owners and inquirers there are for each brand, and what the dealer has to do is map out his own strategy for the year. He has to decide who to mail to and when. When do we need commitments? Oh, the usual. Yesterday. The season is upon us, my friend. We want this in the mail by August 1st. Holy cow, that doesn't give us much time. We travel on a fast track here. Gee, dealer week is not even here yet, and I'm already behind. Hey, speaking of dealer week, you haven't forgotten about the fun and games, have you? Oh, no way. On Monday, we had practice for Club Med Paradise Island, the site of our 1990 Dealer Week. And incidentally, a lot of our dealers are more than halfway there. We're going to have a limbo competition, swimsuit competition. Oh, I can't wait to see your hairy legs in the swimsuit competition. Oh, but you're going to be disappointed. Yeah. It's Tuesday night I want to hear about, Lon. Well, Tuesday night, we have our annual talent night, the culmination of the Sime Cup competition. We'll have people on stage singing, dancing, all kinds of carrying on. Did someone say talent? Did someone say talent? <laughs>